Angel Bird just announced two ultra-fast portable SSDs. The SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte and the SSD to go PKT 4 terabyte. Are these SSDs the best option to photographers and videographers on the go, working in hot and sub-zero environments? Do they offer value when compared to popular Samsung Evo or Pro SSDs? Well, we'll answer these questions in this full hands-on review. But first, I have a simple and yet humble request. Please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps this channel grow, but most importantly, it keeps you informed on the latest camera gear. Angelbird just released the portable SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte for $379.99, alongside the SSD to go PKT 4 terabyte for $649.99. That's 19 cents per gigabyte for the SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte and 16.2 cents per gigabyte for the SSD to go PKT 4 terabyte. But the Samsung Evo 2 terabyte sells for $209.99, while the 4 terabyte it sells for $369.99. That gives Samsung the win in price with a 10.5 cents per gigabyte cost for the 2 terabyte and 9.2 cents per gigabyte for the 4 terabyte. However, Angelbird's SSDs use TLC NAND flash, while Samsung, they use QLC NAND flash. My mother always said that you get what you pay for, and I agree. So in this video, using real world use cases, I'm gonna compare the Samsung Evo drives, the 2 terabyte and the 4 terabyte, against Angelbird's new SSD to co PKT, 2 terabyte and 4 terabyte SSDs. And I'll let you behind the scenes so that way you can see how I use these products in my business and the key differentiators between the Samsung and Angelbird products to help you make a better decision. I need an SSD that can sustain high speed continuous shooting or editing 8K videos all day long without worrying about the SSD failing. The SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte and the SSD to go PKT 4 terabyte have an operating temperature of between minus 10 to 40 degrees Celsius and 14 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The Samsung Evo 2 terabyte and the Samsung Evo 4 terabyte have an operating temperature of 0 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius or 32 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Both Samsung and Angelbird have you covered when you're shooting inside where you have a stable temperature. However, if you're going to be operating in sub-zero temperatures, well then Angelbird's got you covered. The Samsung Evo 4TB SSD is a lightweight drive built to deliver extra storage but at an affordable price, though the Samsung Pro is recommended for heavier workloads. The Angelbird SSD to go 2TB and 4TB drives have a metal enclosure that's designed to be shock resistant, offer protection from x-rays and magnetic interference, and are also protected against power overloads. They're designed for photographers and videographers on the go in extreme environments. While the Samsung drives are better spec for office conditions where metal enclosures aren't required. The Samsung Evo 2TB and 4TB SSDs feature read speeds of up to 560 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 530 megabytes per second. But to actually see the sustained read and write speeds, I'm using Blackmagic's Disk Speed Plus. The Samsung Evo 4TB was able to provide a sustained write speed of around 410 megabytes per second and a sustained read speed of around 390 megabytes per second. The Angelbird SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte and 4 terabyte cards guarantee a maximum write speed and read speed of 1800 megabytes per second. But Blackmagic's disk speed test showed that Angelbird was only able to deliver a sustained read and write speed of between 800 and 1000 megabytes per second. But this isn't a limitation of the SSD to go PKT 2 terabyte and 4 terabyte SSDs. It's a limitation of my Mac. All of them. This MacBook Air, the Mac Studio Ultra upstairs, 
If I'm using USBs, I can only get a maximum sustained write speed of, well, pushing 1,000 megabytes per second. When we want to look at the actual sustained read and write speed for Angelbird's SSD to go PKT drives, well, Angelbird states that the sustained read speed is 1,700 megabytes per second, and the sustained write speed, 1,600 megabytes per second, giving Angelbird not only the edge, but making their SSDs the fastest portable SSDs on the market. Angelbird's 2TB and 4TB SSD to go PKT drives, they're USB 4.0 compatible, allowing them to easily connect to any camera, computer, drone, or audio equipment. It's easy to edit off them in my office, but the compact design allows me to edit on a plane, on a train, in the airport, or on the beach, somewhere in the remote wilds of British Columbia. Being small and lightweight, easy to coil up and stick in my pocket when I'm done. I spend a lot of time shooting in the remote bush. Having small, lightweight, and rugged gear, well, it makes my life a whole lot easier. I just couldn't bear losing any of my content, especially after being in the remote bush for a week. Oh, and one more thing. Do you notice this recessed solid connect? This minimizes wear and tear, and with a detachable cable, if your dog happens to think it's a new chew toy, you're only out replacing a cable and not the entire drive. Have you ever connected your SSD to a computer, a remote computer that wasn't yours that you weren't 100% confident that your data was protected? Well, all you have to do with the SSD to go PKT is move the switch to write protect and your content safe. The card reader also functions as an SSD. Use the Angelbird mounting bracket PKT when you want to attach it to your camera. Then connect it to your computer in read-only mode, reducing the risk of corruption. The Samsung Evo 2TB and 4TB drives, they've served me well over the past four years and continue to do so in my home office. I've been able to extend the life of my Mac Minis, like this one here by replacing the HDD with an SSD. And in case you're wondering, that's a 2009 Mac Mini. But the main Samsung drive that I use for my workflow is the Samsung 4TB Evo that I trust to do hourly backups on my Mac Studio. So if you're working in an office environment, you're not changing the drives, you're not moving from location to location, well then stick with Samsung. But a word of caution, if you're going to be doing video editing or a lot of high-speed continuous writing to the SSD, I'd recommend at least going with the Samsung Pro Drives. But as a photographer or videographer that's always on the move, where rugged gear that's able to function in sub-zero as well as hot temperatures matters, Angelbird's able to offer you the fastest sustained write speed and read speeds of any portable SSD on the marketplace. They're small, compact, with an all-metal enclosure that's able to protect your content from shocks and x-rays. Then there's that removable cable and that write protect switch. So to answer the question I posed you at the beginning of this video, is the new Angelbird SSD to go PKT 2TB and the SSD to go PKT 4TB cards or SSDs worth it? Well, if you're working in an office, as I said earlier, and you're not connecting and unconnecting the drives going from one location to the other, then yeah, go with the lower cost per gigabyte and stick with the Samsung Evo drives. But for those creatives on the go that need fast, portable storage, rugged gear, Angelbird's new SSD to go PKT 4TB and SSD to go PKT 2TB drives, well, they just can't be beat. If you have any questions about anything I've said in this video or anything that I've failed to say, then please go ahead and post it in the comment section down below. Now, I'm going to keep this 4TB SSD, and I'm going to continue to use it in my daily life. Six months from now, 12 months from now, and two years from now, and maybe even longer. Why? Well, because I, I hate it when people review something for two or three days, and they send it back, or they stop using it, sell it, or otherwise, because you're unable to know what it's like to live with that product. For all the products that I've used here, talking about Samsung, I've used, with, I've used the Samsung Evos probably going back to 2018. So I can tell you what my experience is like from 
the 256 gigabyte all the way up to the four terabytes. And the same with Angelbird. Now the Angelbird SSD to go PKT two terabyte and four terabyte cards, they're new. So I've only had them for a couple of weeks now, but I will continue to use them. And if you are interested in purchasing either the two terabyte or the four terabyte Angelbird SSD to go PKT drives, then please consider using my affiliate links down below. And if you do use my affiliate links for any of the products that I talked about in this video, whether you purchase from Angelbird directly, and I don't know if they're still doing it, but they also used to include a little chocolate wafer bar, which was always cool when you're setting stuff up. Uh, or if you purchase from Adorama or BH, I do get a small commission back, and literally that helps keep the lights on. It helps support this channel. You'll notice I don't have any sponsorship ads in any of my videos. And a big thanks to those of you that have used my affiliate links in the past. It's very much appreciated. Uh, but that's it for today. I want to say thank you very much for watching this video, watching it to, to the very end. Have yourself a great day, a great weekend, and we'll see you again soon.